It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. You scared of the coronavirus, bro? Um, no. Yes, no. Are we idiots for this? I think we're idiots. I will say this. I don't dap up everybody. I'm doing straight Michelle Obama yeah. Barack fist pumps right yeah, now. You going, <laughs> yeah, you going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I want to put this under the what a fucking idiot section because I know that y'all probably going to think we're idiots. I'm not tripping off the coronavirus, bro. We're yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taylor thinks that because you're black, you're immune to it. Now, that's that's well, that's well why it's the what a fucking idiot section. Yeah. Yeah. She went, what? <laughs> Did you make your own sound effect? <laughs> so Taylor truly believes black people are immune to the... Um, That's some shit that started on social media. Like oh, that, was it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You did not start that. That was on, I, seen, I never seen this before. I that, it before. I seen that meme so much on social media. I'm like, stop. Knock it what off. else? You, did you start black power fist? Maybe. <laughs> I just don't... I, I'm going to tell you, the, re the main reason I'm not scared of it is because I was walking through the airport. And um, this was this weekend, coming back from L.A., and I saw an old sign. You know how when you're walking down the runway and you're about to get on the plane, so it was an old sign tucked away in the corner. Yep. And it was an old sign, and it was old. Like, you could tell it was old, and it was about the bird flu. Yep. And I said to my wife, oh, what the fuck happened to the bird flu? Yeah. Then I started thinking about all of the different viruses we've heard about over the past 10 years. SARS, mm. bird flu, mm. swine flu, Ebola. What's the shit that Travis Scott and Kodak Black made the song about? Zika? What was that shit called? Zika. 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 You they know what I'm saying? a song about Zika? Yeah. Oh, it was ZZ. <laughs> whatever the fuck. Oh, shit. Zika, whatever. But I'm just saying, think about all of those different diseases that we've had over the past decade and right. all of them shit was supposed to be life-threatening. All of them was supposed to kill us. And yeah. like, it's like, all right. Are you wiping down the seats on a plane though? But we've been, I do that anyway. So that's the thing I don't do. So I'm lying. I barely, I know. <laughs> Karen did it this week and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. My girl did it. I'm like, maybe. That's the thing. Like, I feel like coronavirus has brought my hygiene to where it was supposed to be. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Like, I got yeah, trash yeah, yeah. hygiene. I don't wash my hands after I pee. Like, you know this about me. Yeah. And like... That's why I only give you pounds. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forever. We haven't shook hands in years. No. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I understand it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But, uh, so I think corona just brought me back to like where everybody is in 2020 now. So I guess I'm grateful for corona in that way. I mean, <clears throat> also the thing with corona is it's like... All of that stuff we're supposed to be doing. You're like, how do you prevent corona? Wash your hands. Yeah. With soap and water. Yeah. Use hand sanitizer. Cough yeah. into your arm. I'm like, what is this, kindergarten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You, how do you, you prevent corona? Don't be homeless. Exactly. <laughs> That's literally the way to invent it, prevent it, right? Like, it seems pretty matter of fact. Is your wife, like, buying canned goods and shit? Is she freaking out? No, be we're honest. not. She's not getting any shit well, just no, in case? Well, no, she, she is with, with the kids. What she's doing yeah. is, as soon as the kids walk in the house, she makes them take off their clothes at the door. Go wash their hands, uh -huh. and then they can, you know, hug and kiss and all that other kind of stuff. I do the same thing, though. You know what I mean? I don't want to take no chances. I'm laying in the bed last night, and I'm like, <clears throat> and I'm like, uh oh, shit, is that that corona? Uh -oh. <laughs> or is it just a regular? I, I was on two planes, you know, yeah. this week, and I had to walk through Atlanta airport, and they said it was like uh, 200 people had symptoms of corona in Atlanta airport like a week and a half ago. Mm. So, of course, it's in your mind. 100%. But I'm just sitting there thinking, like, we've seen this before. Four. Yeah. And when yeah. you look at Corona, like I, I saw everybody giving Trump shit because um, somebody asked Trump about Yo. the coronavirus and Trump said something to the Sorry. fact like you don't think if you take care of it the way you would like no, no, the no, flu. No, no. Say what he specifically. Said? What he, he goes, say? he goes, he goes. Play the clip, Taylor. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's, he's having a conversation with his like the medical uh, advisory board, mm -hmm. right, about what to do with Corona. And he goes, <laughs> this guy's so funny. <laughs> he goes to them, he goes, he goes, okay, so, what if we gave them a very good flu vaccine? Would it work? <laughs> That's not a bad question. So and the reason I laughed is because the second the coronavirus came out, the first thing I thought was, we'll just get the flu shot. That's, right? Like, Have you read about the coronavirus? No. Nah. I read an article in USA Today. They said that when you get it, yeah. don't panic. Yeah. They said treat it like it's a common cold. Yeah. 
are the flu. But how do you get it? Sharing chopsticks? You get it the same way you get any other disease. <laughs> it's talking about somebody sneezing. Like that has, that's that's literally every disease, bro. Right, right, right. Sneezing, right, right, coughing. Right, right, right. I'm going to tell you, cover your mouth when you cough. Like yeah. that's the same but now shit. But saying don't wear the masks. Man, that, that mask, I don't, what the, what the fuck Yo, is the mask going to do with the whole rest of your body real, out? Real talk, the masks don't do shit. And no. Asians need to learn about that shit because the masks didn't work. Um, I think it's in Iran too. Isn't it in Iran? And those women are covered, you know, head to toe. Yes, so that's it's a like, good point. They dress shit, like beekeepers. They, exactly. Yes. They dress how you would dress if you wanted to not get yes. the coronavirus. Absolutely. But they still got it. They still got it. So that shit is bullshit. Maybe Let's it went go. through their Free. eyes. Say what? Maybe it went through their eyes. From blinking? That stuff, no, that stuff can get in your eyes. Your oh. eyes have, don't your eyes have pores? Yeah, that shit can get in your eyes. So we need to cover these women entirely. I just, <laughs> I just don't think <laughs> The way can, Allah wants it. I don't think you can escape it. Dude, what if Allah was just trying to protect you from coronavirus? That's a good point. He's ahead of his time. That's a good point. Allah predicted a lot of things. And all you brothers out there that are uh, wearing the mask but sagging your pants, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Up, it goes up that your booty get right up your fucking ass crack. That's true. All right? That's, that's the shit true. that's killing people. <laughs> <laughs> that coronavirus that's coming through the ass, when that shit come through your ass and then you sneeze it out, you're dead. Bro, the coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just not tripping off coronavirus. I could be a fucking idiot for it, but... We've seen this a million times. Just take care of yourself, man. Wash your hands. Use your hand sanitizer. Yeah. Don't be sneezing in people's fucking face. You know what I mean? Just yeah. don't be nasty. Don't be gross. And I just don't, even when when they say things like, "Oh, yeah, we might have to cancel South by Southwest. Uh, might have to cancel the Olympics. You know, uh, gotta avoid large crowds." I'm like, "What? Where do y'all live?" That y'all can just avoid large crowds. Yeah, yeah. New York yeah. City, you don't have that luxury. Yeah, yeah. California doesn't have that luxury. We're cancel Times Square. Chicago don't have yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you're around large crowds all the time. This is a large crowd. Yeah. There's more people in this room right now than the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's Wu-Tang, right? Yeah. Then 10, 11. Yeah. There's more people here than the Wu-Tang Clan. This is a large crowd. Yeah. So how the fuck do we avoid large crowds, Schultz? Fuck, I don't know. You do stand-up every weekend. Dude, we're on a flight. Two flights every weekend, man. And then going to do stand up in front of a large crowd. And speaking to the same microphone. Come on, yeah. man. Come on. You can't avoid it. If you meant to get it, you're going to get it. 